Meanwhile, Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Mosi Jabatiste, on Wednesday announced new COVID-19 protocols for St. Lucia in a continued effort to manage the spread of the virus. The protocols take effect on Friday, 1st October and remain until October 15, 2021. The new changes to the protocols are as follows. 1. Operation of businesses. Businesses shall cease operations on Friday, the first day of October 2021 at 7 p.m. to Saturday, the second day of October 2021 at 4 a.m. On Saturday, the second day of October 2021, businesses will close from 7 p.m. to Tuesday, the fifth day of October 2021 at 4 a.m. The curfew or no movement days will extend from Saturday, the 2nd of October, from 7 p.m. all day Sunday, all day Monday, up to Tuesday, the 5th of October at 4 a.m. The Health Minister also announced that from Tuesday, 5th October to Friday, 8th October, businesses will cease operation from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. From Saturday, the 9th of October, 2021, businesses will close from 3 p.m. to Monday, the 11th day of October. Businesses will close from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. each day from Monday, the 11th of October to Friday, the 15th of October, 2021. Changes in relation to restaurants and food establishments. One. A restaurant and other food establishments approved by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Tourism may provide a dine-in service to persons who are fully vaccinated. Please note that fully vaccinated means that two weeks have passed since a person received a, a single dose vaccine such as Johnson & Johnson, b, the second dose in a two-dose series of AstraZeneca, Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna, or C, another COVID-19 vaccine approved by the minister on the advice of the chief medical officer. The sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor are suspended during the protocol period. Exceptions include the manufacturing of liquor for sale outside of St. Lucia and the sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor by supermarkets, gas stations or wholesalers. These entities must not allow the consumption of intoxicating liquor on their premises. The sale and manufacturing of hand sanitizer are permitted. Recreational activities such as boat rides and water skiing at a certified accommodation provider are suspended during the curfew hours or no movement days. They are suspended on Sunday, the third day of October, 2021, Monday, the fourth day of October, 2021, and Sunday, the 10th day of October, 2021. Faith-based organizations. Faith-based organizations may continue to hold daily or regular religious ceremonies if the physical distancing protocols are adhered to. Special religious rites, including baptisms, weddings, and funerals, are to be held using physical distancing rules with no more than 50 persons in attendance. The public is being encouraged to adhere to the protocols and follow the recommended practices to keep themselves and their loved ones safe. 